Well, that's right. If you're hiking or doing another outdoor activity in the heat, it's always best to have someone else with you to monitor each other for signs of heat illness, which can sneak up on you with little warning. It always happens unexpectedly. It always happens because a lot of times people don't realize that they are at risk and then it's too late at that point. Dr. Abby Olulade is a family medicine physician and chief impact officer for Sharpery Steely. Heat related illnesses and deaths are very preventable. She says if you're going to be outside, it's important to be aware of any heat warnings or heat alerts that have been issued and be prepared with plenty of water, sunscreen and protective clothing. A lot of people, unfortunately, are not prepared. They don't realize how hot it is. Dr. Abby also points out that the beginning stages of heat exhaustion can set in in just a matter of minutes. If you start to feel headaches, if you start to feel dizzy, if you feel thirsty, at that point, if you're outside and it's hot, you're actually getting to a point where it may become too late. If someone has heat exhaustion, move them to a cool place, get them to lie down, have them drink water if they're conscious and able to, and cool their skin by spraying or sponging them with cool water and fanning them, while also monitoring them for more serious symptoms of heat stroke. Someone who has a heat stroke, of course, is in a far worse state and they tend to become confused. They may have slurred speech. They actually can have really dry red skin as opposed to someone who's heat exhausted who is still able to sweat. While someone with heat exhaustion may have a faint but rapid pulse, someone suffering heat stroke tends to have a strong pulse. In an emergency situation like this, call 911 immediately. In a case where someone has heat stroke or heat exhaustion, they may not be self-aware. So it's important that people look out for these signs. It tends to be bystanders that actually help people in this situation. And the CDC now has a special website that tracks heat events and heat alerts based on your individual zip code, along with more tips to stay safe in the heat. For more information, just go to CBS8.com, click on the help button.